Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Corbin Russwin 2020-033. This is a combinated uh, cylinder uh, in a pyramid uh, platform. It's a pyramid cylinder uh, for typical applications. And this video is just going to touch on not only what the cylinder is, but a little bit of what the pyramid system is as well. This client uh, basically said, I want a high security cylinder that's going to have basically what the client wanted was the ability to make sure that copies of keys were not made uh, and that it had a good level of natural pick resistance. Uh, it does because it's pyramid. It has two areas in which need to be satisfied in order to get the plug to turn. Um, didn't care about the keyway, didn't care about how it was combinated, wanted five copies of the key, and that's it. Uh, so Pyramid was what the client uh, re specifically requested, even though high security, key control, uh, paperwork trail could have been accomplished by several and many ma uh, manufacturers. Client wanted Pyramid. Okay, great. I don't know why they wanted Pyramid. Maybe just because they're comfortable or Perhaps they've worked with it in the past, or they're familiar with it, or understand it. I um, mean, the principle of the pyramid cylinder is indeed pretty simple and straightforward. So this is a 2020-033. Let's just take a quick look at this. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to get the camera too tight on the face of the cylinder. Yeah, well, we're not. It, it has the UL stamp. That means it's UL 437. UL 437, yeah, and the pyramid logo. UL 437 tells us that it meets a very stringent set of criteria for drill resistance, pick resistance, um, physical attack, things of that nature. There is no standard higher when it comes to cylinders than UL 437. So if you're looking for something absolutely uh, the most capable of handling physical forms of bypass, whether it be brute or it be, you know, picking or impressioning. Um, UL 437 is what you want. And anything that bears that UL, four, that, that UL symbol is going to be UL 437, and they don't mean it on a cylinder that it's fire rated. Um, the lock this would go into would need to be UL listed. But when you see UL on a cylinder, that's for security, uh, is really what it is. Nice and smooth op operation out of this. I uh, don't spend a lot of time with Pyramid, um, but the principle basically is this. You have a little teat or a raised area on the bottom of the key itself, and there are images down below that will allow you to see that a bit closer. Let's see if we can get the camera to cooperate. Trying to give it something flat to focus against. A little bit better focus there. Okay, right here is what we're dealing with. That's going to, when it inserts into the cylinder, there is literally a spring bar that's inside of there. When that teat get gets on the bottom of the key gets pushed in, it forces that down allowing the plug to uh, rotate when the uh, shear line has been satisfied. Okay, So that's what this is. Let's switch to the screen view and let's take a closer look at some supporting documentation. Okay, so here's the item that we're looking at. When you're, By the time you're seeing this, you'll probably see images uh, down below. The link here to the manufacturer's page, that's going to allow us to get to the catalog where we can open that up and then we're going to search for our part number CR2020-033. So let's drag that over with us. Do a find function on our keyboard. Let's drop the CR because I don't think they use that in the catalog. Okay. 2020-033 comes up six times in the catalog and we can scroll through 
and w which we will. But let's go back. It's shown here in the um, in the CL3300 series as an option for that lock. So it's a pyramid, high security. Okay, so that's going to raise it above the level of just security. It's going to give it the UL437 compliance. Uh, this is inherently a seven pin lock. This is literally there are literally, literally seven chambers. Okay, and it's considered a standard cylinder rather than a interchangeable core option. As we continue to go through the catalog, the second time it comes up is in the uh, forgive me, it just comes CL3300 CL3, CL3300 again CL3500 that same part number comes up there ED8000, that's going to be an exit device, so this is going to be obviously a cylinder that will be used in some sort of knob, I would imagine lever trim. 7 pin, high security. And then again comes in lever and knob trim. Now on the manufacturer's page, there's going to be a document called Corbin Russwin Pyramid Technical Manual. This is the uh, governing document when it comes to understanding the pyramid platform. That's that little uh, pin that needs to be satisfied and that's what the feature on the bottom of the key does. Uh, okay, and you know when we look at our key blank if there's any information that you have on it, it will be uh, defined here. Depth and spacing data for the key so we're doing a, well, what are we doing? The truth of the matter is, I don't know what system we are doing because this is restricted. We did not define to the factory a keyway nor a system. So I don't know if this key, uh, actually, I can tell you. Yes, of course I can tell you. Um, so I have my caliper and I'm going to measure a cut. I'm coming up with, on a particular cut, I'm coming up with 0.186. So I'm getting a 0.185 for a 9 cut. Uh, admittedly, that is a deep cut that I have here. So it's very likely this is a pre-System 70 key. My point is, I don't see a System 70 at all here as depth and spacing data for this pyramid. So, what does that mean to us? What that means to us is I'm going to conclude that System 70 is not available. So, that means that in Corbin Ruswin speak, this is the two-step system uh, that uh, existed since the dawn of Corbin, or PF Corbin, up until 1970 when they converted to a single-step system. So, they're obviously doing pyramid in a two-step system. Um, you have a max of 7. You have your increment here of 0.016. This means something to you if you are a locksmith. Um, you can use your CW90MC on your Blitz machine. And you can uh, get the CHSI code card if you're originating key blanks on your HPC machine. Pin lengths are here, which is really helpful. So you know how to combinate the material top pins and based on what to use on the uh, chamber total, the plug total. Um, we, we're not doing a P6 keyway where there's dimpling that's been done on the sides. They obviously have serrated top pins. Um, well, maybe, maybe spool. I'm not sure what they call these. I guess not serrated. They might be a special derivative of spool. These pins really help thwart picking. Uh, not that it prevents picking. It just does delay the amount of, or increase the amount of time necessary to pick it open. But I believe this is going to combinate like any other Corbin Ruswin system. Now here's really the heart of the pyramid system and it's that blocking plate that's down there. Okay, So that when you are servicing it you need to be mindful that it's there and depress the blocking plate to get the plug follower to come through so that you can service the cylinder because you're plug loading this 
meaning you're not top loading it when you're keying it. Um, let's see if we can get to a 2020. This looks just like our cylinder, key and lever cylinder. I'm going to say that yes, it is. Okay, anti drill pins in in uh, on either side of the plug chambers or the uh, the pin chambers. Anti drill pins are what those definitely are. Your shell, your bottom pins, your driver pins, your springs, your top cap, obviously your tailpiece and your threaded. Uh, cap on the back. Uh, again, we're not doing a P6. There are no side pins in this. Um, that would be a derivative of pyramid. And what they're really showing us is additional exploded views of other variants of the pyramid platform. Uh, you can pin this material. It's not going to prove difficult. You need to just contend with that bottom uh, blocking plate. But here are the uh, supplies you would need to successfully service the material. If you're set up directly with the factory to sell and service pyramid, this document would be indispensable for you. Okay, so you know the question is why would you want this pyramid? Well, the bottom line is, what really keeps people from getting in your, from from duplicating your key? Well, access to the key blank. If you eliminate the possibility that people cannot get a copy of your physical key blank, that they can then go to any cobbler or home center and try to get a copy cut, you've won the battle for the most part. You've basically won the battle uh, when you control the keys. This client said, well, I really only need two keys. And I said, well, listen, why don't you buy five? This way, put them in a safe place, the safe deposit box or wherever. And this way, you're not going to have to necessarily worry about the hassle of getting more. You might have someone else that you want to hand it off to. Uh, and then also the nice thing about handing keys off to people is that when you get the key back, you're pretty confident they've not duplicated it because paperwork is on file at the factory with this restricted system. Unless they are supply, unless the signature and the information supplied matches the original data supplied at the time of order that the factory keeps on file, they are not going to supply additional materials, meaning key blanks, for your existing cylinder. That's why you invest in it. Now, a restricted or a UL listed cylinder is not going to keep a size 12 boot from kicking the door in, but it's going to certainly work greatly towards preventing covert ways by which to bypass a lock. Let's wrap up this video on camera. So, regardless of whether or not you like Corbin uh, Ruswin uh, Pyramid or any of the other derivatives that they can do, Access 3, things of that nature. Um, in the world of, and it works smoothly though, I have to tell you, you can, um, even when the pins are brought to alignment with the top, the driver pins in the Bible, it works really smoothly. Um, whether or not you want to work with Corbin Ruswin or any other company about restricted or high security cylinder, high security cylinders, um, you know, why Corbin? Why Corbin Ruswin? Well, you can do Schlage. They have their Primus with the side pins. You can do Yale with their rotating discs on the side and their key mark as well. You can do Sargent. Sargent will give you uh, a platform that looks an awfully lot alike Medico. You can do Medico. Um, I don't know that Hager has any sort of restricted key, uh, uh, key pl uh, cylinder platform uh, at all. Uh, you can do marks. They have what would be known as a scorpion. It's a side track mill uh, is what it is. Um, you can do Asa, which is a derivative, not a derivative of Schlage's Primus. They are two kissing cousins, I believe patented by the same person. You can do exotic uh, things like Dom, which has a floating ball, uh, which is really, that's an awesome cylinder type. You could do uh, Brahma, a technology from the 18th century. No one is going to copy a Brahma key. And in fact, I have one here. Bra Joseph Brahma is uh, the man who you know, carried down the two tablets, okay, or the tablet uh, from on high. 
Joseph Brahma gave us a type of cylinder, uh, a technology, not a mortise cylinder per se, but a technology that um, was a paradigm shift. It was a, it was a milestone on the highway of lock development. I have a Brahma cylinder, nothing special about it in the sense that it's a mortise cylinder. I could stick it into my aluminum storefront door, but it has this highly unusual key that uses spring-loaded sliders. You are not going to walk to the home center and get this duplicated. You could do a Brahma key. Um, Brahma is, you know, they're still available, still manufactured, and people order them. I ordered it because it's unusual, and I plan to use it somewhere someday. But people literally order them because it is so highly unusual, although not restricted, to get a key blank, nor a machine to cut them. Uh, so you could do something unusual like that. You could also do something like an obloy. An obloy is a highly uh, secure cylinder platform where there is a key that is basically shaped like a rectangular solid piece of material with a bow on it. There are then a series of different cuts coming down the length of the key at different angles. When you insert that key and rotate it, there are discs inside of there, washers and discs, that when you turn the key, it will set all of these different discs because they have corresponding angles to the angles of the cut. And I don't recall how many there are, or maybe four or five, don't quote me, I just don't remember. Uh, when you align all of that, a bar can then fit in, a fence can fit into the gate in the top of all the discs. Completely mechanical, no springs at all, nothing, no springs whatsoever. The key goes in and you turn it, you turn it back to pull it out and it scrambles the discs. Um, I've, you know, I had mentioned Medico, but Medico is a name not to uh, forget they, the, I heard a statistic that they own 75% of the North American market for high security cylinders. But the fundamental aspect of all of them is can I get a copy of the key blank? And if you can't, then you're in good shape. There are methods of bypass. A method of bypass, which I won't name, uh, is in, a, in some knowledge that you can get online makes bypassing a cylinder pretty simple. If you've got the key blank, if you don't have the key blank, you probably aren't going to get through that way. Whether it be Medico or Corbin, Russwin or Schlage or whomever, high security, those key blanks are restricted. You're not just going to order them uh, unless you are the person who originated the system or an authorized representative. But why Corbin Russwin? Well, I can tell you why over others in the sense that I, I own high security cylinders from many of those manufacturers I just mentioned, if not all of them. I don't think I have anything by Yale. Um, working with Corbin Russwin is relatively simple and straightforward. Their key records department is relatively simple and straightforward. This had an exceptional lead time. I will say that this cylinder just arrived um, and it was on order for a long time, several weeks. Part of that was because the client did not return the paperwork quite promptly, so the order sat. But it was no problem to deal with, uh, you know, key system development at Corbin Russwin regarding this. So the question more becomes, why wouldn't you use Corbin Russwin? And I can't name a reason why you wouldn't use a a, 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 a pyramid platform. I sentimentally like Corbin Russwin because. You have 150 years of lock development. P.F. Corbin, uh, okay, as a company. Russwin, in 1993, the two companies merged, but they basically ran parallel. Corbin and Russwin have the most rich, the deepest, the longest, the broadest available spectrum of inactive and active keyways compared to anyone that I'm aware of, that, I, that I, I know of. I'm quite sure that that's true. There's 11 different primary classes of keys from Corbin Russwin, PF Corbin, Russwin, Corbin Russwin. Um, so their footprint of the facilities that they're in, installed in is epic. It's massive. It has to be. Uh, Corbin Russwin, PF Corbin, popularized the master ring cylinder, which was patented in the late, I think about 1898 by a man by the name of Edward O'Keefe. They obviously bought the patent. 
created the uh, master ring, which is a large inch and a half diameter cylinder with two shear lines in it. The Empire State Building was supplied with all master ring cylinders, and that's a different conversation of why you would have master ring. But the reason you have master ring is because Corbin Russwin is capable of producing technologies of these really interesting platforms of keying, uh, uh, key systems. Okay. If you have any questions on the CR2020-033 pyramid cylinder or any other Corbin Russwin product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. If you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please click subscribe as well and even share the video with someone that you know. And if you have any questions for a future video, please send them our way and we will make every attempt to oblige. And thank you very much.